once you start stitching they can vibrate and the faster you want to go they will literally be shaking as you so and you don't want that to happen so weight is important hello fashion sewers i hope you are fine if you are new to my channel i'm colleen g lee and on my channel i do sewing techniques refashioning of old or even new clothing and I also have a segment where I show you items that I have designed, pattern drafted and also sewn. Let's get into the video. So I am going to share with you five important tips to think about when you're making your choice for buying a sewing machine. I'm going to share with you what I consider to be the most important things to think about when you're choosing your sewing machine. And the first is going to be about the brand. Now, um, I have asked, been asked um, several times about the best brand of sewing machine to choose, and I really can't say which one would be the best because if you think about it, all brands are relatively the same they all produce a sewing machine and a sewing machine is capable when you first start sewing of sewing straight stitches. That's the first thing that a sewing machine's capability is. So it really is when it comes to brands about how you feel about the machine. And I mean, not necessarily feeling the machine as such, but it's sitting in front of the sewing machine and testing the sewing machine and seeing how it feels fits in with how you feel, how comfortable you feel when it when you're sewing, is it stitching and feeling the way it stitches, feels comfortable. And that really does matter because that's how I base my choices on the sewing machines that I have. And um, there is one or two brands that you could say are possibly your favourites, I know I can. And um, when it comes to choosing a brand, like I said, it really is about an opportunity to test different machines at the level of um, sewing machines that they produce because a lot of brands do have different levels and what I mean by levels is like beginner, intermediate and more advanced sewing machines and also they have different models that are mechanical and computerised and quilting um, sewing machines so that's what you need to think about so I would say um, if you are in a position where you're not you don't know what brand to go for and if you have the opportunity to test out um, I would say about three, three to four different brands I would definitely, definitely take up to, um, take the opportunity to do that and then make your choice based on that and it really is about how you feel when you are in front of the machine and how it stitches because sometimes I can tell by a sewing machine whether I'm not going to like it if it's too too forward um, and it's difficult to actually explain and I think when you are in front of the sewing machine it's almost so it's you know you, you're able to communicate with the sewing machine and making sure that how you feed the fabric through the um, feet feels comfortable and that will feel different slightly with each machine and maybe there's one or two functionalities that you prefer with one model to another hence the reason you're choosing that so brand is definitely a case of having an opportunity to try a few sewing machines the next is going to be the type of sewing machines now I personally would say in, in 2020 the best kind of sewing machine to go for would be a computerized sewing machine. Um, I have mechanical sewing machines and also computerized sewing machines. Yeah, I do have a few. Um, but I would definitely say if you're starting out, a computerized sewing machine can be a little bit more enjoyable to use because it's got the, all these press buttons and it does things by itself and it's like, whoa, oh, that's so interesting. As with a mechanical sewing machine, you have to work together in order for it to um, do the functions it's capable of doing that you're making a choice for it to do. With a computerized sewing machine, it really is about pressing a button. It's like, whoa, wow, really? I can do that? 
um, without much assistance from you. <laughs> and that's the beauty of a computerized sewing machine. But there's still a lot of beauty when it comes to the mechanical sewing machines as well that I enjoy. Um, but I would highly recommend um, going for more computerized and there's more advanced computerized sewing machines for beginners and ones that are not so um, advanced. This is about the uh, middle of the road. So yeah, definitely think about it. Um, so the next will be the third thing to think about is feet. Now with sewing machines, they have, they come with standard feet um, between four, four or five feet it comes with standard when you buy a new sewing machine and it is a case of you need to make sure the most important feet for your sewing machines are two feet one is going to be the zipper foot the next is going to be your buttonhole foot these two are essential for you to get in and out of a garment, you're going to need a zipper foot or you're going to need a buttonhole foot. These two are essential because if you don't have these, all you're able to do is straight stitching um, for, you know, for your seams and obviously you've got um, other choices of stitches for making more decorative um, stitches if your machine has that on there. But you definitely need those two feet, definitely. Without it out. So make sure that when you are making that choice, that the feet feel comfortable because that can be an issue. It really can be an issue, um, particularly with um, I would say a zipper foot. Perhaps it, perhaps even with both feet actually. Um, have a go if you have an opportunity. Definitely have a go when you're testing a sewing machine. Make sure you 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 are you have the ability, not necessarily the ability, but it's always a good idea as well. This should be number six really to bring along fabrics and you know buttons and zips um, when you're testing out your sewing machine. Yeah, that's number six. <laughs> and yeah, have a go with the feet and also you know with the zipper foot and also the one whole foot. So definitely, definitely make sure you have those particular feet. Next is going to be stitches. Now, um, most machines, all machines have a straight stitch. They have to, you know, otherwise it wouldn't be a functioning sewing machine. So all machines by default have a straight stitch. The next stitch that you would probably would need is going to be a zigzag stitch. Now, the reason why I say zigzag stitch um, is for either sewing with knits and also for kneeling off seams when it comes to woven fabrics. So yeah, those are the two stitches, straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. Any other stitch is going to be a bonus to your sewing machine. So when you're making your choice for your first sewing machines, make sure there's a zigzag stitch on there. You may not think you need it, but it does help, especially if you don't have an overlocker or a serger in order to make the processes of having to knit in your seams a little bit quicker. So yeah, definitely stitches. Would you go for a machine that has like, there's so many machines that have about 60 stitches. And um, no, not necessarily. The more stitches a sewing machine has doesn't mean it is a better sewing machine. It's more for people who want to make a lot of decorative surface decorations on their fabric for their project. If you know that you are a person that isn't totally interested with having too many choice of stitches, then don't get that machine, that's fine. But if you're like, oh, I wouldn't mind, maybe in the future, maybe in a few months down the line, or even a couple of years down the line, I might want to experiment with some kind of surface design. It would be interesting to have three or four choices. Then choose a machine that has um, about, I would say between eight to 10 other choices other than a zigzag and the straight stitch would be, um, would be a good choice. Next is going to be the weight. The weight of the sewing machine. Um, yeah, weight is important uh, for two reasons. Well, the first is if you are choosing a sewing machine that is really cheap, I really wouldn't get it. 
because it's more than likely most of the sewing machine and its components parts to the build of the sewing machine are going to be plastic and very little of it is going to be metal and most sewing machines today are I would say about 80% plastic but obviously there's different density of plastic so the cheaper end of sewing machines tends to be lightweight plastics and they're not good once you start stitching, they can vibrate and the faster you want to go, they will literally be shaking as you sew and you don't want that to happen. So weight is important. The heavier the sewing machine, the more stable it is as you sew. When you pick up your speed and your sewing machine goes faster, um, it will be your so machine won't vibrate as much. So that is going to be one key thing. I know there's little things, little tricks you can do to stabilize your sewing machine, but on the first off, you wanna make sure it's going to be quite heavy. And that being said, it's also a case that if you are carrying your heavy sewing machine, it's gonna be a good, a good advantage to have a carrying handle. Um, because um, you don't want to uh, injure yourself and if the sewing machine is quite heavy and you you know you drop it or anything like that then you know it can be quite a bit to get it repaired so yeah carrying handle is good if your machine doesn't have a carrying handle one of the best ways to carry your machine is not like this don't pick it up like this is to have it put your arm under the top part of the sewing machine, one on the other end and carry your sewing machine around like that. So weight is going to be important. So those are the five or let's say six tips for thinking about when you are making a choice for buying your first sewing machine. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, those five tips, well, I'm six now, isn't there, um, will help you make the right choice for choosing the right sewing machine for you. And I do advise you that if it is possible to uh, test out two, three, four sewing machines before you make your choice, then do that. If not, then a, a possible way around that is to read some re reviews um, of people talking about sewing machine of the one that you possibly might want to choose and see what the functionalities are within that particular brand of sewing machine. That'll probably be the next best thing if you don't have an opportunity to test out your sewing machine. But everything else, I definitely do think you need to consider before you make that final purchase. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and please do share. If you have any comments or queries, please put in the comment box below and yeah, Thank you for watching.